of YouTube. I'm back. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, uh, this is just, uh, I didn't make these diagrams, obviously. Um, no image, none of the images that are in this video are ones that I have created. I don't own them. Uh, I have no legal rights over them. Um, so yeah, like, now I'm not saying that as a disclaimer, and I'm, I'm not only saying that as a disclaimer, but also in case anybody's wondering if I made it myself to help with my argument in this video or to help describe, argue for my theory in this video, no, I just, and I mean, if you even have anything at all that you've seen of my channel that goes beyond the surface, you'll know why that would be and why it would, why I never would have put together a diagram this detailed or one like this, you know, there's tons of others I've been looking at to choose to show. We can pick any of these we want. Any of these work for what I'm trying to argue for on my channel uh, in this video. Um, okay. And, uh, you know, I just want to say that um, that's basically all there is to say about it. I mean, I just think that uh, my channel is uh, really lacking um, in certain ways, and I just feel like um, one of the ways is it's been lacking is that I have not, uh, I haven't chosen the best set of visuals for my arguments, um, in terms of, um, like finding the absolute best for each argument in each video. Um, some videos I have done that and other videos I haven't, um, but I will say that uh, it's a combination of factors, as I've always said. It's the visuals you use, the audio, the um, and it's uh, the words you use. They all, they, everything has to be on point. Um, so yeah, um, I'll just say this. Um, this is going to be obviously me adding on to the uh, stuff I've said. I mean, if you're used to this sort of thing on my channel, then you already know what this is. This is just going to be another attempt to uh, show people why I'm right about diamonds. Um, it's possible to make them for cheap. Um, and uh, whether it's synthetic or real, it's no matter, either or, either or, it's the same thing. However, I think this video is going to be very convincing compared to my last attempts. Some of my attempts have been, many of my attempts have been on Discord. Um, some have been on Facebook. And a lot of, a lot of them have been on YouTube. I'd say the majority of them, the vast majority of them have been on, uh, probably, uh, disc, they've definitely been on Discord intellectual servers. Um, so yeah, like basically long story short, um, there's really not a whole lot to say in this video other than that take what I said before on my channel and in other avenues if you can and uh, access those other avenues and uh, for where I said more and more about diamonds the science and chemistry is not really that complicated um, at least if you you know you understand anything beyond the surface of physics then you shouldn't have a hard time understanding that uh, when you increase uh, when heat increases uh, that's an increase in particle velocity so and uh, yeah so um, and you understand that uh, 
you can have any object, no matter the size, element, or other specifications, uh, have an increase in their heat. Yeah. In other words, an increase in their particle velocity. So, um, so uh, obviously this pertains to any of the objects you could possibly look at or inspect or pick apart on this diagram or any diagram ever, or just any object that's ever existed, really, um, going by the laws of physics. But what I will say is that what my theory in this video is really about is like, it's basically just that, like I said, everything I've said before, that I've argued for, that at least that I haven't changed my views on after a certain point in time. But yeah, like I said, like I said many times, my views on my model of science as far as it pertains to making diamonds. Um, the one thing that's changed, I'd say, is my views on oxide. Um, and this is an important part of making diamonds or precious metals and precious rocks. As far as my model of science goes and the standard education system worldwide model of science uh, oxides in particular um you know i have changed my mind um now on this channel i have argued for this being the case in the past few months at least a few times which is that not only can oxides uh, occur with rocks and any metals or, or solids as well as other states of matter, but they can also form on the inside of solids during metal work or rock work with heat. They don't have to form on the outside. Um, so yeah, um, uh, anyway, moving back towards what I was saying, um, how does this connect to uh, some of my other theories? Well, if you're trying to make a diamond, or if you took a rock and you heated it up and it looks more transparent, one of the criticisms I've re you may hear from neurotypicals like yourself is that the interior looks transparent because oxide has formed on the outside and or inside of the rock. Let me break down why that doesn't make any sense in terms of being able to refute my theory. Um, simply put, um, oxide is a colored substance. Um, any oxide that can form has to be an element that has a color to it. When a solid or a substance looks more transparent, it's losing color at least in terms of opaque, translucent colors. The best way to describe this, or the easiest way to explain this is, if you have an object and it's see-through, you obviously are just going to see um, objects that you can see through the object, which are whatever colors. You're not really seeing the object be any sort of color. Hence why a piece of glass isn't really a color. Uh, you just see colors through the glass. Um, although, I guess you could say it kind of is a color. Or something along the lines of a color. Just not in the same way, quite the same way as, say, a piece of wood or a piece of scrap metal. Um or say, uh, a piece of copper. Um, the colors that you see through it, they kind of are right on the object placed on it. So it is. it does have color, but it, most people understand what's meant when, they, when, when people commonly say that it doesn't and it's just transparent. You can just see colors through a colorless object, but the... But reality shows that it's not really colorless. It just obtains a bunch of different colors that can only be there uh, through reflected light from those reflected light bouncing off of 
these those other objects that you can see through it. Um, that is what's taught by the education system. It's the easiest way to explain why you see the colors you do on a transparent object. So oxide is not something that really forms um, inside of a rock or inside on, on a rock necessarily. Depending on what temperature of heat you're putting into the rock or on, on top of the rock, as it is commonly known amongst the science community and reputable sources of information that you cannot ever turn air into oxide solid uh, slag unless you actually reach a certain level of heat that you are exerting onto the air that it may, would turn into oxide. Um, but if you do happen to turn the air into oxide, um, it will not make the, su the substance that it is going to be put inside of or grow inside of or grow on top of. It's not going to make that's not going to make it more transparent. It's just going to do the opposite. So the criticism that when I have taken ordinary everyday rocks, and others have done this for, for all of history, heated them up, and all of a sudden the rock becomes more transparent. The criticism that that's just oxide is completely false because Oxide would not make the rock more transparent in appearance. It would do the opposite. Um, for the reasons I've said many times, and that others have said many times, that's why that is. Um, so it's pretty obvious that um, it's not oxide for why all these people, everyday people, everyday organizations, etc., have taken, you know, all, all, all the above kinds of rocks and substances and made them more transparent. Um, and uh, it, it doesn't even, it, it doesn't have to be that it was um, solids. Liquids and gases can become more transparent through heat, and they have. But the easiest example to understand that this is the case and that what I've said is the truth is to use solids because it because not only are solids more stable pieces of part of, part of particles and matter that are easier to study and study but also because they are less dangerous to work with and experiment on compared to gases or liquids when heated up um, simply put Solids like these in this diagram and the others that I've shown referenced and that others have shown in reference for all of history Well, those are rocks. Let's just say rocks or, or metals and other other forms of solids that basically just When you heat them up, you don't get oxide to make them more transparent You do get oxide on them and it inside of them and on them but it doesn't that doesn't mean that but remember, that does not mean that you're actually going to make it more transparent. Um, every, every single time people have taken uh, rocks and metals and heated them up, you see them get darkened from uh, oxide. Sometimes the oxide that forms on them is not dark in color, but it's a different color. Um... And every time that's happened, that was the oxides. If that's the and given the science that's been broken down for a long time of those oxides forming as colors, then it's pretty obvious that those colors are translucent and opaque, not not transparent. And if the, even if they had been transparent and formed on the inside and outside of said rocks, they would not make the rocks themselves more transparent. It would merely reflect the light off of the rocks that they are being harnessed onto, uh, showing a reflection of their exterior and their uh, physical traits, like looking through a mirror or through a magnifying glass, and that's all. So it's pretty obvious that it's not oxide for when rocks become more transparent.
um, by being heated. And there's all the everyday examples, of course, that I've referenced. Everyday people, all their art history, doing whatever they were with it for manufacturing processes, for business, for everything you could possibly imagine that pertains to business. Um, irregardless, whatever they, whatever you, whatever ones you want to look at, you can look at any of them. You can look at the easiest examples. You can look at the hardest examples. It's always the same, and that's not a coincidence. That's because the laws of physics here is not changing. Like everyday people in the education system tries to trick you into believing it does to make a profit off of you. But the truth is, it just isn't going to happen. The laws of physics aren't going to change here. It's so the oxide will not make it more transparent. So when they did become more transparent, it is because, as has been proven and said many times, it is the atoms within the rock or solid that are being more and more spread apart from each other. The more spread apart they are, the more the more close to being transparent and the more transparent the solid becomes in appearance. And it has been tested and proven that this is something that is a common occurrence on all materials and this never has stopped happening by the law because of how the laws of physics works uh, this is the way it works for these substances because when you do the opposite process, they become less transparent. And because those things have been set in stone since the beginning of time and existence, there's no way that this has ever not occurred within our universe. As I said, if we exist in a multiverse, then there could be a universe out there where the laws of physics are inverse to this, and it goes in the op and it works the opposite way. But that's not the universe we're in, and so it's obviously not the universe that I'm referencing. For my theory so it is obviously true that if you take a solid such as an ordinary rock patio rock that's completely opaque and translucent rather than transparent if you heat it up it'll become more and more transparent in different stages of transparent as i've said many times i've taken one myself put it in my electric kiln and heated it up for several batches i've done it until it became as transparent as quartz had I done it a few, had I done a few more batches, then perhaps, then it would, by that logic, have become as transparent as a diamond. And if I had done more than that, get past that point, as transparent as glass. There's no denying that what I'm saying would have to be true if what I said is true before. Uh, consider uh, considering that the laws of physics are set in stone in the direction of more heat, more transparent, less heat, less transparent with solids and liquids and li and uh, gases. And so it is just a proven scientific fact, a fundamentally unchanging force within the universe set in stone since the beginning of time. And with this being true, it must be that the only way for, for a rock to be as transparent as quartz it must be quartz itself. And so if you took a rock on this diagram that's opaque and translucent that you can't see through and, it, and you heated it up until it became as transparent as one of the other rocks on this diagram that are semi-transparent but not quite as transparent as diamond, then it must be that it's because it became the actual uh, rock that was semi-transparent. In doing so, there's a change in element that would have occurred. You would have taken one element and changed it into a different element. With, despite the fact that the education system teaches this is not possible, it must be that it is, and that the whole world, for all of history, has been mentally ill, far beyond what has been previously uh, understood by anybody other than the people that I, and the beings that I've mentioned that exist for a long time on this channel. And I will also say another thing, which is that, of course, this doesn't, this, it's not going to change anything, it's not going to change much of my arguments. Um, um, anything I'm saying in this video is not going to change many of my previous arguments, okay? So you can just stop trying to pretend like I 
am the one who's been making the mistakes of other stuff. If you're trying to be somebody who's trying to criticize my mistakes on this channel, um, you're going to have a hard time because, listen, I have um, just a, an amazing understanding of these things, okay? I have an amazing understanding of everything I've been talking about, okay? Uh, it, it is... It is superb to the average person. I, I have talked about this for years on this channel. And I've, I've provided evidence. I've provided every, anything that everyday people have admitted on all throughout history as being valid forms of evidence, okay? But then when it comes time to admit it, they pussy out. Because they are mentally ill children trapped in large bodies. I've said this for what has felt like centuries. I've said this for years on this channel. Years straight. Okay, anyway, back to what I'm saying. So, you get, you get, you get, you must understand now that I must be right. If you have been following what I've been saying so far, you know I'm right, okay? All you have to do is admit it, and you have to just go to other sources of information that, that can back up the, the things I've spoke about in this video. You can take my words, you can take my other videos, you can bring other reliable sources of information any one of them you can choose from are good enough you don't have to use all of them they all they all must be right okay i mean you can't take a rock like granite basalt obsidian and turn it into a rock that's more transparent like quartz quartz gypsum uh, uh and um Halite, emerald crystals, and you know, all these all these more transparent rocks at the bottom. You just you can't do that. Um, you can't make them look more like that without making them actually be those rocks, because the precise level of transparency that all of these rocks have in contrast to one another is, you know, it's set in stone. You can't have quartz be as be as transparent as diamond you can't have any of these rocks be as transparent as each other they all have a different level of transparency that's set in stone unique to each of them and so if you actually took a rock like basalt or obsidian and made it as transparent as any of these uh gemstones crystals or the ones here that says the scale of hardness minerals if you took any of the rocks on the top section that are under sedimentary, metamorphic, or igneous rocks, if you made them as transparent as any one of these other ones that are transparent on this diagram, um, you would have had to have actually changed the element. And it, as I said, this has been done with video evidence for, for a very long time. This has been done since the beginning of time. People in nature have been turning these rocks on the top part of this diagram into the rocks that are on these bottom half and making them as transparent um that's still a change in element and don't believe me you can actually not only observe how spread out how different the atoms are spread out and close together with the materials that were used in the in the examples i'm referencing in everyday life you can actually not only see how spread out they are um just by just by a quick look um on the surface but you can see it with with microscopes you can see how 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 they are matching the different elements on this diagram and they've been changed from one to another they, they've been changing in stages and in on, on a spectrum of heat transfer and heat conductivity and this is just this is mind-blowing information this is this is the next science revolution okay and this is proof that i've been right all along not only about artificial intelligence, not about, not only about artificial intelligence and, and, and the, the, my model of science, but also that, again, my model of neuroscience, my model of uh, psychology, my model of philosophy and religion, they're all tied together. They're all, they're not contradicting. They're all telling the truth. Everyday humans, neurotypicals particularly, have been extremely mentally ill since the beginning of history. And, again, I have been... Also showing that the brain dictates consciousness. I've, you know, it's the main control system center of consciousness. 
Now, and I understand that con you know if consciousness is physical or not, it's a relevant part of that. But again, it's not the biggest aspect of this. You know, one thing is for you can observe many different ways, an infinite number of ways that consciousness is dictated mainly by the brain and other organs regulate and help the brain stay healthy, but they are not the sole proprietor of the brain's health or power as um, no matter how much you fix your other organs, it will not fix your brain, uh, your brain in every way. It will only fix it in some ways. Um, and I've said this for years. Okay. Now, anyway, other than what I said, you can test this out yourself. Um, you can get, you can get a rock from your backyard right now, hold it up to this diagram you're looking at as you're watching me record, uh, say this in this recording, get a rock from your backyard, get it, get any of the ones in the top half and then get, get any of the transparent ones on the bottom half and Think, just ask yourself a question. Have people in everyday life ever been observed and commonly accepted amongst everyday people to have taken the one that's more hard to see, the one that you can't see through, and heated it up until it came out after he being heated up, and it looked like the one, the other one I'm holding in my other hand, that's more see-through, that's more transparent. And if that happened, isn't that a change in element? Because how can it match the description? And have a, how can one of these have a different atomic weight than the other? And that one went into one turned into the other. One turned into the other, and that's a change in atomic weight. According to the periodic table, you can't have a change in atomic weight unless you're changing the element. That's just another thing that I've talked about a long time ago on my channel. I've said this for a long time. Okay, So yeah, long story short, this has been my uh, most latest attempt to dumb down my argument um, as much as possible. Okay, you can't have these coincidences. You can't have a coincidence. You can't have these ones that are less transparent become more transparent without spreading out those atoms more with more heat. And that's still changing the atomic weight. If you spread out those atoms, you're changing the atomic weight. You're changing, um, you're changing the element. And you are um, ultimately you are one way or another doing so through heat conductivity. When you trap, when you put heat in that rock and that substance. The atoms spread out, and you're you're trapping some heat in there permanently that forever changes the the uh, the nucleus the nucleuses of that that solid. Um, you're going to remove some particles, not all of them, but you're going to remove some percentage of them permanently, and it's, and so that's going to change the atomic weight. It's just it's just this is what it shows. This is what the diagram shows. This is what all the sources I've ever shown show. This is what the sources I'm referencing that everyday people admit shows, even if they don't realize that it, it shows it because they have low self-awareness. Okay, this is this is just accepted science is the truth. And I've proven a trillion gazillion other ways on this channel that I'm not lying. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope this works. Please like, share, subscribe. Bye.